you have a low end pc and you are having unstable and low fps in fortnite so in this video i'm gonna show you how you can boost your fps and make your fps stable for more performance so guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time here please subscribe and make sure to share your pc specs in the comment section of this video and i will help you to optimizing your pc for more performance so guys in the very first step we are going to optimize our performance in monitor settings and you can do it with your windows 10 and 11. So go for your windows search and search for performance and open up performance monitor settings now once you go out here this performance monitor window you need to go for this data collector and click on this drop down now select here this user defined option after that right click here and go for new and click here on the data collector set now you need to guys and create here a new data collector set and name it like fps boost for low and ec like this after that you need to go for this option that is the create manual and advanced settings so go for it and click on this next button next here you will find out this performance counter so guys check mark on this box and click on the next button now here you will find out performance counters so go for this add button and now from here you need to add some counters inside your performance monitor so in the very first step you need to go for this processor option and go for the highest number available in this list so i have the 15 available in this list because i have the 16 thread on my cpu on my processor so you need to go for the highest number available in this list after that click on this add button and add the processor count the next scroll up and here you will find out this processes option so go for it and from here you need to set it onto the total after that click on this add button and also add the processes counter inside this counter now click on this ok button and you will find out this kind of the uh, interface now click next next and simply click on this finish button and save it now here you will find that the status it is right now stopped so right click here and go for start and start this program on your pc after that now close out of your performance monitor now in the next step we are going to optimize our windows power throttling settings and this is one of the important settings for low end pcs so for that you need to press windows r together from your keyboard and you will find that this is on dialog now simply type here g p edit dot msc and hit enter now you need to go for computer configuration administrative template system now you need to scroll down and find that power management folder and here you will find out this power throttling settings so go inside it and here you will find our profile with the turn of power throttling so double tap here and now from here you need to enable this option for turning off the power throttling and this can work with your windows 10 and 11 so simply enable the settings then hit apply click ok and close out of the settings now in the next step you need to download this fortnite optimization pack on your pc link available down in the description simply go on my website up to packs.com and download these files on your pc so guys inside this pack we got here fortnite priority manager then fortnite registry files run with affinity msi utility v3 and at the end gear a booster so let's start with our fortnite process priority so double tap and open up this folder and inside you will find out here these three profile that is the fortnite above normal profile fortnite high priority and fortnite normal priority this is the default settings of your windows but guys you need to set it on to the above normal on your ultra low end pc and if you are watching it on a, a mid end or high end pc so you can go with the fortnite high priority with your low end you need to test it first with the fortnite above priority and then you can also test it out with your fortnite high priority but i suggest to go with the fortnite normal above priority or you can ask me in the comment with your pc specs which one is best for you so now go for fortnite above normal priority double tap here hit yes yes again click ok and install this registry once we have installed this fortnite purity settings now close out of this directory now in the next step here we got fortnite reg edit files so open up this folder inside you will find out disable core parking disable a network throttling disable power throttling max pre-render frame and system responsiveness settings i have already set up all these registry files for you you need to simply install it on your pc simply double tap and install all this registry one by one on your pc i have already installed it so therefore i am not installing it again now you need to go back or close out of this directory now the next step here we go this run with affinity option 
So now the next step here we go to this run with affinity program and this is the software for optimizing uh, the processes or getting the maximum performance out of your cpu in fortnite so you need to open up this run with affinity software and you're not even to install the software on your pc once you have got this interface of the run with affinity you need to go for the select affinity and set it onto the highest number available in this list so now here in the very first step we got here the select program and here you will find out these three dots so click here and now from here you need to select out your fortnite launcher file so for that go for this pc local dixie program file epic games fortnite fortnite game binary win64 and here you will find out your fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file so click here hit open now go for run and set it on to the maximized after that here you will find a shortcut name you can name it like anything like fortnite run with affinity fortnite or anything i'm going with the default now make sure to change this run onto the maximized from this drop down after that click on this create shortcut button and hit ok and here you will find out this kind of the fortnite launcher shortcut and next time whenever you want to run or launch the fortnite you can launch the fortnite using this fortnite launcher so guys now the next step you need to open up msi mod utility and make sure to run the software as the administrator otherwise this will not properly work on your pc now you need to find out here your gpu model so for me that is the nvidia geforce rtx 3070 this can be anything for you like amd intel integrated intel or it can also be the nvidia so select the gpu you have now check mark onto the msi box and set the priority onto the uh high so guys click on the drop down and set it onto the high priority now next here you will find out your integrated intel gpu so that is the intel uhd graphics 770 so again check mark on spokes go for interrupt priority and now also click on the drop down and set it on to the high of that now click on the apply button and apply these changes in your msi mode utility application now here at the end we got here gear up booster txt file this software guys help you to getting the maximum fps and lower your ping in any game in fortnite especially in valorant warzone csgo any game you can guys use this software for free using my link in the description or you can simply copy it from here like copy the link search it in your browser and download the software using this link and get the free trial of the gear up booster so guys now the next step we are going to disable some bloatware or startup application from our pc so for that right click on your taskbar open up the task manager and you need to go for the startup apps option now from here sort it from to the high impact to the low impact so here we go to not my ears so you need to guys set it from the high impact to low impact and you need to disable all the startup application like here we go to this edge. i don't want to use it so guys simply right click here and disable it to stopping this application to running on the startup of your pc you can guys still use this application but this will just stop it from running in the boot up time so disable all the unused application so after that now you need to simply close out of it and simply one time restart your pc therefore all the changes take effect then launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your pc i hope so you love it please make sure let me know your opinion about about this video in the comment below and i will see you in the next video